everybody must be made to feel important. Hiya, I'm Tomato Duplenny. In the late 1970s, I used to be a punker. I sang in the band of Screamers. Now that it's 50 years later, I thought it'd be a hoop to paint those punk folks.
made it through plenty. In the late 1970s, I used to be a punker. I sang in the band The Screamers. Now that it's 50 years later, I thought it'd be a real hoop to paint those punk folks. To paint those punk folks. To paint those punk folks. Hiya. I'm Tomato Duke Lenny. In the late 1970s, I used to be a punker. The, the hair was more ridiculous before, though. Hiya. I'm Tomato Duke Lenny. Hiya. I'm Tomato Duke Lenny. I sang in the band The Screamers. Now that it's 50 years later, I thought it'd be a real hoot to paint those punk folks. Now that it's 50 years later, you want to come in on now? Hey, did you get my underwear? <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> Action. Hiya, I'm Tomato Duplenny. In the late 1970s, I used to be a punker. I sang in the band The Screamers. Now that it's 50 years later, I thought it'd be a real hoot to paint those punk folk. Did you get my underwear? Did, did you get the underwear? <laughs> Did you get the underwear? I used to be a punker. I used to, in the South, punkers. Hiya. 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 I'm tomato. Hiya. I'm tomato. I used to be a punker. A punker. A punker. A punker. Did you get the underwear? I used to be a punker. Did you get my underwear? I used to be a punker. I'm going to paint those punk folks. <laughs> One more time. I'm going to paint those punk folks. In a better world, everybody must be made to feel important. when the first Star Wars came out, a punk rocker named Tamata Duplenty was hot stuff. Tamata is plenty busy these days, not on stage, but with a new career as an offbeat artist. Paul Verkamen on more with this brush with fame. One thing about Lucy, she always has these great eyebrows. Lucille Ball is just one vivid subject. She was almost like a, what you'd say, an elegant bozo. <laughs> Another portrait by New Orleans artist Tomata Duplenty. More on that Technicolor name later. It's a New Orleans legend, Fats Domino. It's an exuberant chronicle of pop culture. Elvis Presley and Colonel Tom Parker. Jack Kerouac, all tomato master strokes. It's good therapy and it keeps me out of trouble. I used to get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> There goes trouble. Rewind more than two decades ago, Tomato led a rebirth in LA's music scene as lead singer of the Screamers. His contemporaries included X. It was very groundbreaking. I mean, it was the first band in LA that I ever saw was the Screamers. Xine Cervenka put on a Tomato exhibit at her now defunct LA store. Fans include actress Ann Magnuson. His work is very evocative of the era. <laughs> An era that we do miss, and it gets constantly revived. The Go-Go's Jane Wheedland bought her own portrait. I'm glad because he made my boobs really big. Um, Thank you. When Tomato paints rock stars, he often adds literary illusions. Punk rock, especially in the early days, these people had library cards. The Sex Pistols and the Pit and the Pendulum. I broke my leg. Uh, geez, uh, about 10 years ago, and I was bored to death, and I found a little paint kit in the alley in Hollywood Boulevard. He's packed on the paint ever since. Nice big lips. Starts with all black like a chalkboard, signs as Tomata, that name again. Kind of old sister Iris and Daisy, and when I came along, my folks just nicknamed me Tomata. And the Duplenny, I, I, that's 100% fraudulent, I made that up. Fitting for a punk rocker turned painter. I have no technique. I've never taken an art lesson. To simply reinvent himself on canvas. Paul Verkamen, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood. Another artist having a brush with fame right now, 19-year-old Dylan Cole. He's been in line for five weeks. He spent the last three painting this picture inspired by a movie he hasn't even seen yet. We'll see what happens. For Lauren Sidney in New York, I'm Jim Moray reporting from Los Angeles, where people are still in line to buy tickets for the story.